Hello and welcome to Yoga for Your Back. Today's class is going to be a gentle class, easy enough for beginners, nice enough for anybody else who's done yoga for a while. It's just a really nice class to give yourself a break and to enjoy being good to yourself. We're going to start with our feet hip distance apart. And when I say hip distance, I don't mean our outer hips. I mean the front of our hip bones, down the front of our thighs, so your knees and your ankles are stacked over each other and your feet aren't out. We're going to roll the shoulders up, back and down as we breathe in and out. Two more times, up, back and down. This is our last one. And now we're gonna take them forward. We're going to inhale our right arm right up beside our ear. And you're just going to have your palm facing towards me and you're just going to reach up. And you're going to actively reach. And you're going to take five full breaths. Try to make sure your opposite shoulder doesn't try to go up to your ear. After that fifth breath, go ahead and bring your right arm down. You'll inhale your left arm up beside your ear. Turn your palm to face towards me, and then actively reach up and take five full breaths. Slowly release that arm back down. We will inhale both arms up. Let your fingertips touch. Exhale all the way down. And now back up. Again. Two more times. Last one. Go ahead and step your feet out a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And we're going to reach and get one of our blocks or our books. And because I can't see so well where I'm at, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see how wide it is. That is how I want you to hold it in front of you. So it's about shoulder width. 
when you have it in your hands. You're going to press your palms on the sides of this block or this book, and you're going to inhale just up to chest height. Exhale, back down. Inhale to chest height. Exhale, back down. We'll do that three more times. Do this with your own breath. Last time. This time, inhale all the way up over your head, as high as you can go. And if your overhead is here, that's okay. But I want you to go as high as you can without creating a back bend. So I don't want you to take it up this way and then go back. I don't want that to happen. I want you to take it up and just keep straight. We're going to hold this for five full breaths. After your fifth breath, bring it all the way back down, and then we're just going to place it back onto the mat and come back upright. We're going to take our feet as wide as we can comfortably go, and you're going to turn, whoops, better scoot back a little bit. <laughs> you're going to turn your left foot out, and you're going to follow with your right foot just going diagonal. You're going to take both arms out. You're going to continue to face me. And we're going to take three breaths here. We'll take an inhale. On the exhale, you're going to gently Lean over the long leg that's in front, and then you're going to drop your left hand on top of that left thigh. Now, some of you might be able to go down to the shin or down to the floor, but to start, I want you to just rest on top of that thigh. And if resting on that thigh doesn't feel quite right, just take your arm out, straight at the shoulder. Then you're just going to come right back up. Your arms are going to be at a Y. You're going to bend that left knee and let your arms come down to parallel with your leg, the floor. Inhale, straighten the leg, bring the arms up. Exhale, bend the knee. And you want that knee to track over that second toe. You don't want your knee turning in or turning out. You want it to be nice and in line with that foot. Inhale back up. Exhale back out. This will be the last one we go out with. I want you to keep that knee bent. You're going to drop your right hand to your right thigh and take your left arm up. And you're going to gaze towards the direction of that bent front knee. Slowly come back to arms parallel. Straighten that left knee. Turn that left foot forward. Turn the right foot out. And then put that left foot at a little bit of an angle. We'll take three breaths here.
take a breath in. On the exhale, lean towards that extended leg. Drop that right hand to that right thigh. Let the left hand go up. Slowly come back. We're going to bring our arms up to a Y. Exhale them parallel and bend that knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend that knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend that knee. Do this with your own breath. We got two more to go. Last one. This time keep the knee bent. Drop the left hand to the left leg. Let the right hand go up. You can look out the direction of the bent knee. to parallel arms, push off, straighten that leg, bring both feet forward, swan dive, forward fold, bend your knees in order for your hands to touch the floor, even if it's just your fingertips. Let your head bow down, let your arms relax. Slowly heel toe your feet towards each other. If you can, reach for your block. Slowly come up one vertebrae at a time with your block in hand. We're going to find mountain pose once again. Feet are hip distance apart. Try to make sure your feet are mirror images of each other. You can have a soft bend in your knee if you like. We're going to inhale the block up overhead. We're going to take a deep breath in and stretch up. On the exhale, we're going to lean to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Continue to do this with your own breath. Always inhale to center. Exhale to the opposite side. Next time you come up to center, inhale, really reach, exhale, swan dive, forward fold, leave your block on the mat, slowly come to rise, and we're going to get one more stretch for our back, and all you're going to do, you're going to stand with your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, you're going to inhale your right arm up by your ear. And you're going to take your left hand, and you know how you reach out to shake somebody's hand? You're going to do that across your body, okay? So you're actively reaching as if you're going to shake someone's hand, and you're actively reaching the top shelf. I want you to hold this for five full breaths.
after the fifth breath, I want you to lean to the left. So now your left hand is still reaching for that shake. Your right hand is reaching towards the left sky. Come back up to center. Release both hands. Shake them out a little bit. All right, get that on the opposite side. Inhale, the left arm up. And then exhale to reach the right over as if you're going to shake someone's hand. Actively reach and take five full breaths. After your fifth breath, take a breath in, exhale, lean to the right. Still actively reaching with both arms in the opposite directions. Slowly come back, release the arms, shake them out. And we're going to find ourselves coming down to the floor. So come down here the best way that you know possible. And find the comfortable seat. And if you brought water, get yourself a sip. We're going to start with our left leg in front. Our hands are going to be resting on our knees. You're going to lean to the left, come forward, and circle back around. Taking your time. You can close your eyes. seat and if you can I want you to lift that left leg up into the lap of the other foot and the other crease of the other leg now if it doesn't work that way you can keep it in front and if this knee is elevated a little bit you can put a block up underneath that thigh not so much the knee but the thigh to support Again, find a nice comfortable seat. You're going to take your left hand to the floor and you're going to move the strap and you're going to let it reach on over and you're going to gently lean over to the left. to the left for five full breaths. Without untwisting your body, take your gaze to the right.
slowly and gently release to the front. And then place your hands down on the ground in front of you. Now, if this is too much of a stretch and you have a second block or a second book, you can place your hands on that instead and not be all the way down here. You do what feels good in your body. Only you know that. Keeping your heart lifted, your chin is lifted. Your back is not rounded. Take a breath in. Walk your hands forward if you can and only if it's available. And then round your back and round forward. Slowly and gently come back upright. We're going to switch this and get this on the opposite side. So now your right foot is in front. Your hands are on your knees. You're going to lean to the right and come forward. Go around. You can close your eyes as you do this. will be the last rotation. You'll come to a neutral seat. You'll take your right hand out to the side, your left arm will go up as you gently lean over to the right. somewhere behind you, either on a block or on the floor. Scoot my block out. That's how I'm able to do flat hands with mine. Twisting, take your gaze over your left shoulder. Slowly and gently untwist to the front. Place your hands flat on the floor or up on a book or a block, just wherever it feels most comfortable to you. Chest is lifted, chin is lifted, spine is long, 
not rounded. Slowly come back up to an upright position. And if you can, place your right foot in the lap of that opposite knee. We're going to inhale up. Exhale, round forward. Let your head bow down. Let your back round. Slowly and gently come back upright. And I'm going to turn around to show you oh, and my thing came in then, how, to, how we're going to use this strap or this scarf to help us with some upper back stretches. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this my left hand and just take my left hand right behind the bottom part of my neck. I'm going to take my right hand out and reach for that strap. And I'm just going to hold it here. If your hands touch, that's fantastic. If your hands don't touch, guess what? That's fantastic too. We're going to hold it just like this for five full breaths. If you have shoulder issues and you can't bring that hand up as high, it's okay for your hand to be way down here. It does not, and it's okay for this hand to be way up here at the top of your head. You work with what your body is allowing you to work with. To come out, you release the bottom hand first. And then the top hand, and we'll get that on the opposite side. So now my right hand takes the top, the left, Ooh, takes the bottom. And you will be able to see that I have a little bit of difficulty on this opposite side. Ooh, maybe a lot of difficulty. As always, do not force yourself into a point of pain. Just work with what your body will allow. Slowly release. Come on out of that. We're going to come on to our mats sideways. You may not have to, but I'm going to because I need to be able to show you what we're doing next. You're going to have one leg bent and your hands, I have a hard time with this, your hands are supposed to be facing towards your feet and as you can see, I tend to dunk. I don't want to dunk, so I'm going to push myself up as much as I can. My chest is lifted, my right leg is bent, I'm going to bring my left foot on top of that right knee. Now if this is as far as you can get, that's where you need to be. Some people are going to be able to walk themselves up towards that leg. That's not me today. However. You can lower that knee and allow yourself to come up a little more. And as for me, I have to come up onto my fists. To come out, 
to straighten that leg, uncross, and we're going to do this a little differently this time. We're going to cross first. Cross that foot above that knee. This foot is flexed. And then you're going to bend that other leg. And again, you go where you can go. This is a little bit tough. And I may not have, should have put it in, but I did anyway. And we're going to slowly come out. So you're going to straighten that leg. And I'm going to come around and face forward. We're going to take the left leg out, have the right foot in. I'm going to bring the blocks in front. You don't have to have them in front, but since I don't have the second mat out here, I'm using it for comfort reasons. We're going to inhale. You're going to turn towards that extended left leg and do a twist. You're going to take that right hand to the outside of that left thigh. You'll come back to center. You're going to walk yourself out in front and just bow forward. Slowly and gently come back upright. We're going to switch and get that on the opposite side. So, you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale up. Exhale. Turn towards that extended leg. Take the opposite hand to the outside of that extended leg. Slowly turn back forward, take a breath in, and walk yourself forward fold. Slowly and gently come back upright. I'm going to move my stuff to the side. We're going to find ourselves coming down to our backs. are going to be bent. Your arms are going to be out at a T. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to see what I'm doing next besides playing in a spider web. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your right hand to face down your left hand to face up and then you're going to switch you're just rolling your hands from face up to face down and you're doing the opposite sides so if the left hand is face up the right hand is face down 
and then you switch. And to start, you're just turning at the wrist. Maybe from the elbow down, you begin to turn. Taking your time. You can straighten your arms a little bit more. And start to feel this up in your shoulders. to start to turn your head side to side. So whichever palm is face up, that's the side you turn your head to. And I realize that this is a little different, but it does feel good. So remember, whichever palm is turning face up, that's which direction your head should be turning towards. Here in a moment, we're going to add the knees. And we're going to do it slowly. So your head is turned towards the palm that is face up. I want you to walk your feet a little closer together, they're not touching, and you're going to drop both knees to the opposite side. You're going to drop them to the side that the palm is face down. So your knees are in the opposite direction of your face. Then you're going to switch. Your head still goes in the direction that the palm is face up, and then switch. Continue to do this at your own pace. You may find a better rhythm. You may find yourself doing this more naturally than you expected, or you may find yourself feeling like you're in a wicked game of Twister. But just give it a try. next time your knees are upright and your face is in the center, I want you to bring your palms down by your hips. I want you to press your feet into the mat. I want you to take a breath in. And on your exhale, tilt your pelvis and raise your hips up off the floor. Press your feet into the floor as you hold. And then slowly and with control, lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Once your full back is on the mat, bring both knees towards your chest. I want you to place your hands on top of your knees and gently rock side to side. I want your big toes to be touching. And you just gently rock side to side. When 
ready, release your feet back down on to the mat. You're going to cross your right foot over your left knee. We'll take a breath in. And on the exhale, you'll drop both the knee and the foot to the left. center. Slowly uncross your right leg from your left knee and then cross your left foot over your right knee. Take a breath in. On your exhale, drop both legs to the right. can close your eyes, or if you're like me and you have a view, you can just look up to the sky. Uncross that foot. If you would like, you can bring your knees towards your chest and extend your legs up towards the ceiling for a little bit of legs up the wall without one. One leg followed by the other, nice and slow. Let your feet fall open, let your legs fall open. Close your eyes. And for those of you that have scoliosis, if laying on your back, like this causes you any discomfort, you may take final relaxation by scooting your hips to one side and just rolling over onto the side of your body that feels most comfortable. And you know which one feels best to you. But when you do roll over, I want you to stack your knees and your heels on top of each other. I want your hips to be stacked. Let 
rest of class, I'd like you to lay on your mat or your bed. I myself am going to be sitting up and I will guide you through the rest of relaxation. I'd like you to place one hand on your heart. And if you're laying on your side, you, you just keep your hands where it's most comfortable to you. I want you to be aware of the rise and fall of your breath. you to take notice of how your body feels at this moment. Notice if there is any change from when you first started class. Feel more relaxed, more at ease, more open. Maybe you just feel better. As you lay here, I want you to give gratitude to yourself. I want you to quietly thank yourself for giving yourself this time. to stretch, point and place your feet, wiggle your fingers and your toes, maybe you start to stretch your arms out, as if you're waking up for the first time, giving yourself a nice big stretch. You know, we're supposed to stretch before we get out of bed, but we don't always do it. So here is a good chance to give yourself that stretch. Once you've stretched, go ahead and bend one knee followed by the other, placing the soles of your feet onto the mat. And join everyone else that might be laying on their side. Go ahead and roll over to the side of your joints. Curling up with both arms as if you're in bed, safe and secure. I want you to take three full breaths here. Slowly and gently bring yourself up to a seated, comfortable position, letting your head and neck be relaxed. Once you are upright, drop your left hand to the floor, take your right arm over your head, push off and go to the opposite side. Nice, easy stretches.
sometimes really enjoy how this feels. This will be the last time on this side. And the last time on this side. Come back to center. Extend your arms out wide and back behind you as far as you can reach. Crisscross in front, giving yourself a self hug. Elbows are lifted and you gently twist side to side. A very small movement, noticing which arm is on top. You can rest your cheek on that arm. Open up wide, once again, reaching back as far as you can. Fingers are wide. Crisscross in front for that self hug. Gently rock. Elbows are lifted up on your chest. And then release your arms down to your flat palms. We're going to go underneath your knees for just a moment. You're going to actively press into your palms and pull up with your hands for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Relax. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Palms are actively pressed together. Again, inhale up, exhale down to your heart, one last time, the light in me honors the light in each of you, I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed Sunday afternoon, and until next time. Peace out.